Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me. I'm the host of this podcast, Luke Schantz. And like many of you developers, aspiring developers, hackers and tinkerers out there, I go through these different phases of interest in particular topics. Sometimes they're obscure bits of history, and sometimes these tangents are motivated by the pressing problems of the day. And that's what's motivating this series on application modernization I'm bringing you now. So you might be wondering, what's so pressing about application modernization? Well, on a high level, it's obvious the systems and applications we used yesterday, a year ago, five years ago, they need to be maintained, updated, and replaced. And that's what's happened the entire technical history of humanity. So at a high level, it's obvious this notion that modernization is a thing you should expect to be doing. And on the surface, it might not seem like that glamorous of a topic, but I beg to differ with that notion. Both on the business and technological level, application modernization can provide you with a lot of value and opportunity to gain skills. So to tackle this topic, I connected with a variety of expert practitioners, and I'll bring you a curated selection of these conversations throughout this series. So to kick off this conversation, I looped in with JJ in Austin, Texas, to get a good foundation and angle of approach to the topic of application modernization. Yeah, so first thing first, uh, app modernization is a massive topic. Right. There's so many things and it's so situationally diverse and there's so many different opportunities inside of it. And it really, as the best uh, software statement of the world, it depends. Right. Like if you just have a simple PHP app, right, you have a, a web server running PHP and you got a database. Right. If you're going to try to use app modernization to move that, it's going to be completely different than when you have a whole Java stack with using Tomcat and web servers and a database or the famous three tier apps. Nine out of 10 times when I have conversations about modernization, it's actually not about specifically the app. It's about the culture and the paradigm switch you need to have as a company to be able to move towards modernizing your app with new modern policies and procedures and SOPs, if you will, for getting your app to be modernized because it's a cultural shift instead of just code shift. So my takeaway from this part of the conversation with JJ was that application modernization is not just about your application and your code. It's also cultural, which got me wondering, what else does this entail? What else is involved in a modernization initiative? Well, my next guest, Andrea Crawford, a DevOps expert and distinguished engineer at the IBM Garage, has some interesting things to say on that subject. I think when it comes to application modernization, it's not just about modernizing the application itself, but are there opportunities to do pipeline modernization, to do operations modernization, to do security modernization and management modernization, right? So the things that go around the application, and we would be remiss if we were to containerize a heritage workload and leave the same old 15 year old pipeline in place or to not address some of the more modern operational techniques that would go along with it. So application modernization is more than just taking a monolith and making it into a container, but what are the other things around it that need to be modernized as well? I really enjoyed how Andrea introduced the term heritage workload instead of the mildly pejorative legacy code we hear so often. And I thought it was fascinating that Andrea had a similar approach to the topic as JJ in that it's not just about the application and the code base. It's more holistic than that. I had more questions for JJ and Andrea about the specifics of application modernization, which we will get to later in this series. But first, I wanted to share with you what Brandon Jean Marie an IBM security consultant and fellow podcaster in Louisiana had to say. Red Hat did a study and they saw that the application modernization initiative from a typical organization kind of looked like this, right? So it's 25% are going to be refactored, right? This is where we're going to take monolithic architectures and break them into microservices, maybe on containers, most probably on containers. The other ones are going to be rehosted. So they're just going to take the small application and pop it into a container and rehost it. That's 25%. The other ones, 25% are just going to be sunsetted. Like we we don't need those anymore, right? And then the other 25%, they're like, well, we could probably develop this a lot better. So they're either going to develop it in a container cloud natively or just cloud natively in general. 
right? So that's typically what they saw. So you see about 50 to 75% of that is going to land in a container infrastructure or cloud infrastructure of some kind, right? And this is important because this is where we can inject security practices in here to automatically get them up to speed from containers, right? It's going to be a lot harder once they have everything on containers to go back in and inject that security, right? And then there's an application security component, right? We talk about holistic security, defense in depth, right? I can't just secure the container layer and leave the cloud layer or the application layer vulnerable because it's going to leave the whole stack compromised, right? So if I put bad source code into a container, it doesn't matter how secure I have the container. Someone logs into an app and there's an SQL injection flaw. Well, there goes the container, right? So that's the stuff we focus on. And that's why it's really important when we're doing this modernization that security has a seat at the table because it's going to alleviate a lot of pain down the road. Uh, you know, it's a lot more expensive, almost 10 times as expensive to fix something in production than it is when we're, you know, moving it or developing it. I will dedicate an entire episode later in this series to security. But after talking with Brandon, it was clear how important it is to address security in the beginning of your application modernization initiatives. In our next episode, we're going to kick off the conversation with Duwan Ahmed from Red Hat and discuss architecture. Thank you.